Hey everyone, Anthony here, and today I'm going to make a lot of errors on camera, deliberately for a change. So we're going to go through and have a look at, uh, I guess, a bunch of common Python errors. Now, they are actually surprisingly descriptive, so hopefully this will give you a sense when you're, when you're coding, when you're trying to debug your own code, you better figure out more of what's wrong, or at least get a hint what's going on. So let's start with some of the basics here. Right, let's basic exceptions and errors. Now the first one we're gonna go into is obviously the uh, syntax error, all right? So see if you can spot what I'm doing wrong here. I just wanna print the numbers from one to 10. All right, I think I've got them right. Control enter and bam, it's hating me. You can, Im I had trouble actually typing that because the muscle memory is to put the colon there, but you notice I missed that character. So if I miss that character, or I miss this one here, I'm getting this kind of thing again. So a syntax error is basically telling you, hey, you kind of stuffed up your code somewhere, or some something to that effect of, you've written something that's syntactically incorrect. So in this case, if you see a syntax error, you'll see them very quickly. Look for missing commas, missing close braces, incorrect use of braces, um, general stuff like that. If you have very specific categories such as indentation errors, right? So this this, this will um, range one to 10 as well, right? So I've put three prints Y. Let's fix that up here, right? That works. So that's not a problem here, but maybe I might do this. Uh, separated by a bunch of characters, I might use tabs instead. So, right, so I'm one character on my tab, print X again, it will say indentation error. Now, you can't tell what's going on from here and it's pointing at the line with this print X. It's actually this line here that's misindented. So that is correct indentation, that was incorrect. You may, the further nested your code becomes, the less likely you are to see it. So this is, uh, this is another one you'll see. So that's syntax errors. They're generally really easy to spot and deal with. So th those are kind of fun. Fun. Um, next one we've got is, I guess next two we'll do is index and key errors. Let me just type that down. Index, index error. Ooh, error and key error. They're both similar kind of things in concept, which I've lumped them together. Um, let's type this up, syntax error. Oh my God, I can't spell. Therefore, so an index error or a key error. We'll start with index error. And it, uh, let's go with um, cheese again, cheese. So this time for simplicity, we're just gonna have simple cheeses. You know, blue, uh, soft, hard, and stinky. All right, so those are my four types of cheese. This is a list, and if I wanna get these things, I can go for the cheese, I can get the first item in the list, not a problem. I can get the last item in the list, not a problem. Can I get the 10th uh, item in the list? No it will complain that there is a index error here. So indexing is all about when you're using numbers to say position in list, and it's going to be fairly common if you have a list of nodes you've selected. So um, let me just drop down a couple grades. Close, close, close. So I've got four nodes in my script here, selecting them all. New selected nodes, four. Index error, list index out of range. The, there is only four in the script, therefore the final index is actually th uh, three, not four. Right? So that's where index errors come up. So you're trying to access something that doesn't, that it can't deal with. And incidentally, 10 is just as bad as negative 10 because you can't count backwards 10 items. A counterpart to this is, uh, we're at key errors. Key errors follow the same rough idea. So we're gonna get the cheeses and cheese we're just gonna change it to cheese definitions. So we're gonna make a dictionary and we're gonna call blue is in soft. Oh, let's just, let's not make it so stupid. Blue is Stilton, as an example, soft is, I don't know, a brie, hard is 
I'm gonna go for Parmesan. And stinky, we'll go for Limburger. That is really stinky. So we have a dictionary of key value pairs. So we can ask it for the blue definition. The definition of blue is Stilton. We can ask it for the definition of blue with a capital Z. Key error. You're asking it for something within the dictionary that it has that key you've asked for, it doesn't exist. These are all really handy because they're nice and specific. Right. So th those are sort of basic errors. These are not specific to Newt. This is just general stuff you'll deal with, especially as you're navigating lists and dictionaries. We are going to get to the next one of an attribute error. Now, for those of you who've been watching my videos, error. let's put that up here. Index error, key error for when you're trying new accessing something, something by index or key that you can't. Basically, that's the idea between those two. Attribute error is another variation on this. So for those of you who've been watching, you'll see me do this a lot by accident. And it'll complain with an attribute error. Oops. So you can read it, actually, it's telling you exactly what's happened. The module nuke here, so this, this module here, has no attribute select node because I missed the letter D. That is my mistake. Attribute errors are generally trying to tell you you're accessing something that doesn't exist. So let's uh, pick the know, let's pick the grade node. So on the grade node, the grade. This one. So cool, got the grade node. Now we know there are a number of functions on it. I can never remember how to get the x and y position, so I always do something like this: get x pos, and it tells me not nah, the node has no attribute get xpos, which is it's telling me, um, no, I can't, I can't run that function or I can't get that attribute because it doesn't exist on the node. So generally, if you see this, it's telling you that you're trying to access something as not there. We'll actually see a slight variation on this down in a little bit, but that is the guts of an attribute error for our purposes. You're trying to access something that simply isn't there. So that's the attribute error. Uh, what else we got next? Uh, oh yeah, this is something that will start tripping up. So these, everything we've gone through so far has been stuff that you'll pick up fairly quickly and will be fairly obvious when it breaks, right? So the next one is a name error, which you'll see. So let me clear this, get some room. Um, we'll get some space here. Name error. Now this is a little bit ambiguous. So I'll show you two ways I can generate a name error. So one way is by um, printing out a comment. The name comment is not defined, right? So it's saying you want something that is the variable called comment. You haven't ever defined it. Therefore, I don't know what you're talking about. Therefore, the name you're choosing to, the name you're asking me to look up, no good, it's in error. So the same way that if I used um, a nuke selected node, oops, selected node works, but if I tried nuke with a capital N, nuke with a capital N has never been defined. It, it's, it's a completely foreign concept to this current session of nuke. See how it's given the name error? Name error nuke is not defined. If I had lowercase n and again, attribute error, you can see the difference. This first error is saying the module or the thing I'm trying to access, capital N nuke, Mm, I don't know. Doesn't work. The name is the name is confusing to me. I'm looking for Bob. I have no idea who Bob is. So that that's the first one. The second one is the variation saying, I know what Nuke is, but you've asked me for something that I can't access on. So that's the first way. You might not have imported a module, or you might not have created that variable. So in in terms of um, in terms of importing a module. So I might be doing some work jamming away, uh, doing something with time. So I might use the date time function, uh, the now function, sorry, the date time module, date time, date time dot now. This might be in a piece of code and that might run fine. It'll say names not defined. It's because I've forgotten to do this. I forgot to import date time module. That's very common when you're jamming away in the script editor and you package your code onto a node and ship it out somewhere. 
usually usually the things I, I would um, like stuff up is time date time and re is the module because I'm always using regular expressions for something so I probably imported it at some point in time and I always forget potentially to put it on the thing which is why you should test your code but also get into better habits so that's name error I guess name error two ways so name error is your um, using a vari variable you haven't defined yet or a module you forgot to import. So those are your two cases. You forgot to import the module or you forgot to define the variable. Um, the second, second one is generally very early you'll spot that one because your code will simply hit a hard wall. The first one, it will only hit that. It's likely you've got a conditional branch. So for example, uh, using the comment example, if person ticks a box, take the comment off the node and use it in a publishing exercise or take the comment off the node and use it to annotate a contact sheet or something like that. Now, if your logic is good, you will have a default comment and then you'll always have a no comment entered, but you might accidentally bypass it with a whole bunch of if then statements. While we're here around that kind of variable thing, let's just actually have a look at a um, another error of sorts that you may not necessarily pick up immediately and it won't throw an exception but it's to do with reuse of variable names so this grade node is in a position in space let's um i'll just type it down here so get the node the grade is nuke.selected node right so i've got a copy of the grade and i want to know where it is in in x uh in in position in space so the grade x equals the grades get uh, x pos. Right. right, we know it's position minus 295. Now somewhere code occurs and we do this. We're using x as a throwaway variable. I want to just print out the numbers from one to 10. Range 10. Great, cool, numbers one to 10. Awesome, done, counted through a bunch of nodes. And now I want to uh, find out where the position of of the node is. Print D is at cool. The node is at nine. So here, this is not an error that this is not something that Python will stop you from doing, but it is something that would be considered a slight error. Um, you're reusing this variable here for two purposes and you're overriding it. Now, this is something that's hard to pick up, but you'll notice it potentially when things start going odd. Uh, the rule of thumb I use is I tend to use really long descriptive, painfully descriptive names. So the node x pos, right? So that way, if I typed it by hand, You'll see that code is kind of, it's partially self-documenting, but also importantly, the odds of me reusing a variable called the node x position as a garbage variable when I count through stuff here is approximately zero. Only a madman would do this, All right? So that immediately gives me some protection from, from my own poor coding tendencies. The other thing you'll notice here is this 99999 nine, nine, nine. see how the variable x isn't changing when i print it out that's another way you can stuff up the variable x was already defined at some point in your code it is equal to the value 9 but i've changed the thing i haven't changed this so uh, an example of an example of where this trips you up is where i have a bunch of nodes here and actually let's just yeah, this video is going to be long. Let me do this one. I'll draw it on and I'll make another couple uh, Anthony Makes Errors videos. And this is sort of uh, how I learnt a lot of stuff. You break it over and over again and you get good at reading the error messages and anticipating a little bit about what you've stuffed up. Or in my case, um, you start anticipating what you could have possibly broken in order to generate those error conditions. So this is, I guess, the first in a small sequence of Anthony breaks things. Um, I have another couple of errors I listed down here. We'll, we'll do those next and uh, break them into a series of videos. All right, let's, let's uh, see how we go with that.